Hey guys, it's Techo Freak here. Welcome to episode three of my custom story creation tutorial for Amnesia Rebirth. Uh, so today we're gonna go ahead and start working on our own level. We're gonna do some level editing. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up our level editor here. Um, we're gonna try and uh, make a room, and I'm just gonna show you guys about the basics of you know putting up walls, putting putting down floors, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm gonna bring over the level editor here. Um, so we did have a sample map that we have in our um, in our custom story. So I'm going to go ahead and open it to that location. Um, we do have a, a sample map. I will be creating a new one for this one. Um, so we won't be using the sample map. We we'll just start from scratch, so everybody's um, everybody can follow along here and, and do whatever they need to with their own maps. Um, so we'll go ahead and do file new. We're already on a new one here. We'll do a save as instead and we'll put it under um, our maps folder in our custom story folder. So we'll, we'll put it in here um, and we'll, I don't know what to call it. We should call it something. Um, let's call it um, starting room. Call it starting room and, and uh, we'll save that there. All right, so we have our first map. We'll say starting room. This would just be the first room we're going to be making. Um, and uh, let's get started. So I'm going to enlarge the perspective view here. And um, the way I normally like to start, especially on a blank canvas like this, um, is by putting down some walls to start making the room I'm going to be making. Um, so uh, one thing I want to change here, I just want to make the background color here uh, black. It makes everything easier to see. So one thing I like doing, and I'll go ahead and and I'll be saving often by hitting Control S. Um, so uh, I did mention in the last episode that there has been some crashing with the application. So uh, just a good habit to save after um, every my, every few changes. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna work on making some walls first, and then we'll put down floors and other stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into our static objects here, and. I think we're going to mod model it after the um, environment from the beginning of the game. Um, if you play the game, you know we're like in a desert and we have like an Arabic themed um, uh, map. So I'm going to follow along the Arabic fort theme here. Um, we're going to go ahead and open up interior and we're going to go to walls here. And we're going to start putting down some walls. So if we scroll down, we should see them somewhere here. And here they are. We have a few various walls, uh, some with a door frame and stuff. Um, so I'm just going to put a uh, just a regular wall for now. Um, um, it's going to pretty much be anywhere. I'm going to put it like right here. Um, and then what I'm going to do here, what I like to do when I work in the level editor, is take, uh, especially with walls and stuff that you place a lot of, I like to just take it and duplicate it and then keep placing them. So. I will click it, I'll hit Control D, and I'll make a duplicate. You can't see it because it's stacked right on top. So you just hit the cursor here, you'll drag over the uh, the duplicate, and then you put it right next to it right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this like that. And we'll start, we'll be, be building a room here. I'm just gonna start with like a regular like rectangle size room. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this here and uh, paste another, and duplicate another one. And then we'll go ahead and rotate it with the rotate tool here. And just to know, I'll probably be fast forwarding a bit in this video just to kind of, uh, you know, there, there'll be a lot of bits where I'm not doing anything. So I'll be fast forwarding a bit here and there. Um, so if you notice that, um, that's why. Feel free to slow down the video if, um, if uh, you want to see a few specific things that I do. But I'll be talking about all the major points. Alright, so we have our uh, rectangle room made here. Um, pretty pretty basic, we just use the same wall. I will be changing out some of these walls and just start making some uh, cooler stuff on them um, a bit. But for now, we've got our room down. I always like to start with a good basis here and kind of get everything down. Um, I want to make it go a little higher than this. Um, 
normally like any other player you'd be about like right here so it will feel like a small room if we leave it at one at one level um easy thing we could do we could um highlight all of this and just duplicate it and then bring it up so that's what i'm gonna try and do here we'll, we'll just cover the whole thing um and then we have it here so then i'll hit Control d and then i'll bring it all up and make sure it all matches and before i let it go i'll make sure that we're all at the same level here yep right there so there we go so now we got we got it two stories high here and uh and uh, we can start working inside the room now. Um, so I wanna, actually before I put down the floors, I wanna put a few things that I wanna, wanna do here. Um, I am going to, I think I'm gonna put a door here and I think maybe some kind of a window or something here. Um, I think that sounds, that sounds all right. Yeah, let's do, let's do that. So let's cut a, let's make a door. We're gonna do a door frame here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this and we'll go back into our static objects and we'll select this doorway here. Now let's place it right in there. Uh, it looks like it placed the opposite way. So we'll just go this way and we'll go ahead and rotate it here. And there we go. We have a place. I'm going to put it, eventually put a door here in a, in a moment, but for now, let's just kind of make the outline of the room. And I think I want a, uh, like a window or something here. I don't think I'm going to have an actual outdoor environment. I just kind of want to, what I'm thinking is have like rubble kind of like pouring in through the window. Maybe the, the place that the person's in got buried or something like that. So um, uh, let's, let's delete this one and let's find the one I'm looking for here. Uh, I think it's this one here. Yeah, that's the window there. Um, and we'll place it down and we'll move it back into place where we want it. All right. And uh, and we'll probably put a grill here in a moment. First, let's just, again, get the room kind of outlined here. Um, all right. That's what I want. What I'm thinking is I'm, I'm going to actually try and model it after, um, after the room I made in my original custom story, my original Amnesia custom story back in back seven years ago when I made that tutorial. Um, I don't really remember exactly what it looked like. I haven't looked at the map in a long time, but I think if I recall correctly, it was something like a window here, the bed is over here. Um, there was a door to like a, a storage room or something here, and then like another pathway that goes out um, this way. So I think I kind of want to follow the same concept here, um, see how closely I can recreate it. Um, all right, so we have, we have the walls down. Let's talk about floors now. So when you make a floor, you can make a plane. Um, and uh, to do that, we go to primitives here, and then we select the material by hitting the dots here. Um, you would go under static objects, and then you select your theme. I'm gonna do Arabic fort, I'm gonna do interior, and then I will do floor here, and then we can choose between what floors we want. Um, I think I'm actually gonna do something a little different. Um, I'm gonna put some tile. I'm gonna put some tiles down on the floor, so this texture won't matter so much. Um, but I'll explain to you why. Um, why I kind of want to put it down in a moment. So um, the best view probably for putting this down um, is the top perspective. So we hit spacebar and we come back here and we hit spacebar on this one here. This is the top perspective. So this is very useful for making stuff like this, big squares. Um, so we put it down, now we can switch back and we can see it on level here. Um, uh, it looks pretty good. If you wanted to change um, like uh, the patterns, the tile patterns, you can mess around with these numbers here to get the what you really want. But I actually want to, I'm not going to worry too much about it because I'm going to put down tiles, like actual tiles on the floor. Um, I kind of feel like that's going to look a little better, be a bit more uh, creative. Um, and we can make our ceiling the same way pretty much. I'm literally just gonna duplicate this one and flip it upside down, but you can feel free to use whatever plane you want. But I'm just gonna duplicate this one and then I'm gonna bring it up to the height. I actually don't want a room this full height. I think I'm gonna cut it like halfway short. Uh, let me turn around here. I ended up sliding across. I think I'm gonna put it like halfway up. Um, but first, let me flip it over here so we can see it a little better. Uh, here we go. All right, now we have it flipped over and let's slide it back into place. 
I think I can get the positioning right from here. It looks like I got it right. Yep. Um, let's refocus here. Sometimes I've been having issues with the level editor just kind of zipping around sometimes when you're editing. Um, anyways, yeah. So that looks good. I didn't want it to get full height. I'm thinking maybe a little higher than this. Uh, yeah, let's do a little, a smidge higher than that. Yeah, it looks all right. So I don't want the full height here. I feel like it's gonna be too open of a room, but we'll do some stuff to make the room look a little better. Um, all right, so now we got that done. Let's do the, I wanna do some tiling on the floor. Um, and I'll show you guys how we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna go uh, under static objects here and I'm gonna look under floor. And I think I'm gonna go for uh, this tile here. And before I go any further, I do want to mention something. Um, you notice I'm like uh, whizzing through this and selecting uh, different tiles. I kind of memorize where a few of these are already. Um, so I, I kind of know where these are. I know for you, you're not going to be, you're going to be too sure where things are found here. Um, one thing you can try and do a search here, but the search isn't perfect because it only finds like the first word in the object. So like if you were looking for floor here, you wouldn't get this, you would get you get something else because this starts with AB. Um, one thing I've been doing, if um, if I bring up the uh, the amnesia folder here, um, I go into, let's say I'm looking for a static object, a floor or something like that, right? I'll go under static objects and then while I'm here, or if I want to go under a specific folder, I can. And you can see I've used it a few times here. Um, you type in what you're looking for, for like example, let's say we want, um, I don't know, like a floor, right? We want a floor. You could do ext and then do a colon and then do dot dae. Dot dae is the object type that they use for um, static objects. And ext just pretty much means extension. So we're looking for extension of the file type dae. So we search that, we start getting any dae files that have floor in the name. So I've been looking here finding something that sounds like uh, something I want and then I look for it in the in the level editor so that's what I've been doing um, if it's an entity you do ENT there's not gonna be any ENTs here because it's not a uh, oh it looks like there are some entities in this folder but yeah entities and and if you if you just look up the file types for these you'll, you'll see them in the in the game like MAT is material I don't think there's any materials in here oh look this there's, there's some materials in here so yeah, that's how I've been looking for it. Um, of course, uh, you can uh, figure that out in your own way. Sometimes it helps to just have a map open from the actual developers. You can open more than one level editor window. So you can uh, you can just you know op scroll down here, open up another level editor, and I actually think I have one open here. Yeah, I do. So uh, you can see I have one of the developers maps open and. If you need ideas on on your on your map making you can look inside here and you can see the kind of cool designs and stuff that they do here um, and you can get the names of them down here where it says mesh so I knew this is where that dot DAE extension is so then you can look for it in your in your in your level letter so just the uh, handy tip there if you're looking for these for these objects all right so we're let's come back here so uh, I want to make a floor um, I want to make a floor so we're gonna make a something called a compound so I'm gonna put down a tile first so I pick the floor here and what I'm gonna do I want to stretch it uh, this is too small in my opinion it's gonna be too many tiles uh, and I'm gonna stretch it uh, three let's do four extensions that way and then we'll do four the other way and we'll see how, how I like it one two three and four all right, that's the tile size we have here. Uh, let me see. And I wanna put them on top of this floor here. Um, and I think it looks all right, that, that size doesn't look too bad. Yeah, we'll stick with this size. So what I'll do is I'm gonna make a compound. Um, so I'm gonna combine a whole bunch of these together and into one, into one like big piece. Um, we'll have to line these up first as you can see they don't quite line up You can turn off the the snapping tools right here by hitting this magnet and now we can kind of like free slide So we'll free slide this in here and make sure that we like finished product here I like that that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna select both both of them and I'm gonna duplicate it and then I'm gonna slide it down this way 
then we'll have another look at it. Uh, looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So what we'll do to combine these into like one piece, we'll highlight all of them and then we'll do create compound. Now we have a compound that consists of all four of these here. So you can see one, two, three, four. Um, and now if we move it around, we can move all four of them around at the same time. And when we duplicate it, we'll also duplicate all four of them at the same time. So, um, so now we can uh, go ahead and start placing this down. So uh, let's go ahead and move these onto our map here. And I will leave uh, snap patrols off while I do this, just because I want to get, I want to make sure everything's precise here. So we'll do that. I'll slip this in here. And uh, I put down the floor, just we not necessary, but um, just in case you have any gaps in your tiles here where you can see through to the bottom, like right here in the center is one case where that happens. I like having this down. Um, it doesn't have to be a concrete floor like this. It could be like dirt or something like that. But uh, um, that's what I'm doing um, for, for this one here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and select this now. And uh, we'll start duplicating and start placing them next to each other. And what I'm going to do to make this a little simpler, I'm going to highlight both of these compounds. You control click, you can, you can disconnect some of these. But um, like you see, I have the plane selected when I did that. Now you can normally click, control click and deselect it. Um, but for some reason, it doesn't always work. Um, so what I'm going to do, you can toggle multi-select here. Um, and I'm going to toggle the select tool to only grab, um, to only grab uh, static objects. Uh, or I think this is exclude static objects, let's see. Uh, you select all of these and we'll toggle it to just do static objects here and then if we do this okay yeah if we do this you can see we selected these here um, but uh, let's have them all selected there yep and then we'll duplicate that and then we'll duplicate it again once we have one whole row we'll uh, we'll go ahead and start copying them. So there we go, we have that done. Um, we can go ahead and detach this from the compound and then just delete it. Detach from compound, delete it. We'll leave those two pieces sticking out there um, uh, just because they're a bit oversized there. Um, all right, and then we'll go ahead and reselect um, all of these here. So we have that done now here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on grid controls back on. So we have a floor. I think it looks pretty good. It doesn't look too bad. Uh, or of course, it's a pretty empty room, so we're gonna have to start filling some things in here. So I think next we should work on making this doorway here. I'm thinking just putting a doorway and a door here, um, just to kind of get a door here for you know functional purposes. Eventually, we can start making more rooms and stuff. So doors are under entities since there's something that you can interact with. So that'd be three here on the side. <clears throat> and we're going to need the door frame. And the door frame for this one here is under Arabic fort. And then um, I think it's interior. Or, or this is the door frame. The door frame is under static objects. Um, um, so we'll do interior. And I think it's somewhere here. Yeah, here we go. Here's the door frame. So we'll place it down and we'll go ahead and move it into place. And right there looks our, about all right. Yep. Yep, that looks good. That looks good. So we got that down. So now we go to entities for the door. And the it should be under Arabic forts and then door. Um, I'm thinking... Let's just do a regular door here. Uh, nothing too crazy here. We'll put it right there. Um, and uh, we should flip it here. Um, note that uh, 
uh, we have static objects toggled, so let's hit all here so we can reselect it. Um, so uh, doors, this door would swing in towards the player. Normally, when they play something, they have it swing, um, swing. Like, they'll flip this the other way, or this would swing out in towards the room, and we want it swinging out towards the player. That's the normal way that they place doors down in in the actual game. So that's why we're going to do it as well. Um, we'll go ahead and rotate this. We'll get it placed here. All right, so we have the door placed. Uh, by default, it should be functional. There's nothing to do. Um, you can mess around with some of these settings as to what, what, what functionality it has. Um, and uh, I believe if you go under swing door, it has specific things related to the door. Um, so like if I want it to be locked, I can check this button here. Or if you want it to be blocked, if there's like objects on the other side, you hit blocked and it won't open until the objects are removed on the other side and how much it's gonna be open and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, you can change that. I'm gonna leave it unlocked with like default settings. And just know if any of these settings are modified, the whole category turns red, which helps you I easily identify when there's like a change made to something there. So we'll go ahead and disable that. Um, so now we got that door. Now I'm thinking we work on this, uh, this window here this window over here. So we want like a, a bit of a grill here for the window. Um, so let's get one in. Um, the the window there, I believe it's a primitive object, it's like a static object. So um, let's go ahead and make a plane here. Um, we're gonna hit the dots here. And I believe this is under uh, the main interior category right here. So this is like the window. Um, we'll go ahead and make something, let's do like a rectangle shape. This. We'll just go a little extra just to be safe, and we can grab this and let's rotate it into the position we want to put it. And there it is. And let's move this forward now and bring this up and bring it closer. So I think right there is pretty good. It goes right down the middle. So there we have like the grill for the window. Um, and I'm like I said, I'm thinking. Maybe this is like a, like it kind of like rubble comes in and pours through this window. So I think that's what we're gonna do here. Then that'd be a nice little um, detail to add. Um, so let's go into static objects here, uh, static objects. And then I believe if we go to ruins, we have rubble piles here. Um, so let's try placing, uh, let's try placing a, uh, this first one here on like a rotate its position here I um, might just be playing around with it if we have to transform it we'll transform it um, let's see if we can get it through this door here uh, let's see uh, maybe too far back there um, but maybe too high there so let's go back a little bit down a little bit I think we're leaving a little bit of space open here uh, actually, that's not bad there. I like it right there. Uh, it's like it looks like it's filled and it's go it goes up a little bit. We may have to just like uh, uh, let's duplicate this and let's bring it up a little bit and rotate it. Just it looks like there's a bit of a dead spot back there, so a uh, visible spot where we can see the outside of the map. So let's like twist it here and and kind of block that off a little more. Yep, there you go. So player won't be able to see outside anymore. Uh, it looks pretty good and I kind of want to have it like pouring into the room um, so let me see if there's another rubble pile we can use um, let's try this pile dusty one here uh, let's see how it looks let's rotate it up a little bit here it's hard to grab these sometimes and let's back this up and bring this up a little bit This actually doesn't look too bad. I like the way this one, this way looks. Maybe we got a little bit of clipping here, so maybe we'll get some more, uh, some more, some more piles over here to kind of like merge it into one here. So there it goes, and we'll do that. All right, that looks all right. I think it looks all right. I won't put too much detail into this, but I think so. As long as the we don't see any holes or anything like that, I think that looks all right. See, like it collapsed. There's a whole bunch of dust here. We could put some more stuff here, just kind of make it a bit more refined. But I think that's okay for now. Um, 
Uh, maybe we can try putting a little particle effect here to kind of make it look a little like dusty or like smoky from like the rubble or something like that. So um, we can do that. We can go to uh, particle system here and then we'll hit the dots. Um, the So these are the list of particles. Uh, let's try the, 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 we got debris here. Uh, actually, there's nothing in here actually. You know what? Let's just do some some uh, smoke. Uh, we'll do like just black smoke. See how that looks. Um, okay, that looks all right. Um, we can actually change the color, make it a little lighter too. Make it like a, a lighter gray to kind of match. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Maybe even lighter than that would be fine. Like this. All right, it looks all right. And we'll go ahead and line it up here and put it up there. Um, I believe that when you put these down, you can't put them where the player can't see. You see where it says PS. The player needs to be able to see these where this specific center point is, or else the smoke won't actually move. I think it'll just freeze in place. So make sure it's actually in the room visible to the player. If you put it like on the other side of the wall, it won't load properly. So um, yeah, that looks good. I'm thinking, eh, we'll leave it like that. I think there's fine. Um, it looks all right there. We'll see how it looks like in game when we're in. Um, all right, so that's done. Um, that's kind of what I wanted to do there. Now I'm thinking we put like a bed or something over here in the corner. Um, so let's do that. Uh, so we can just go into static objects and find that. Or I think actually I think uh, beds are under uh, entities. Um, I think there is one under uh, Bedouin here. Um, yeah, let's, let's see. It's a pretty crappy bed, but I think it kind of fits the theme um, that we're going for here. So let's just put it down here. Um, and I kind of want something to kind of like keep it up. Uh, actually this slab might work here. Okay, so I'm gonna put like the bed on top of the slab. I think that looks, that looks pretty, that'll look pretty good. Um, so uh, let's twist this and put it in position that we want it. Uh, we'll put it like that. And I think it's a little small for the bed. I think we might just stretch it out to kind of fit the, uh, to fit the, uh, the bed here so let's stretch it out a little bit um again be careful when you stretch out textures sometimes they can kind of mess them up and look kind of like low quality so just a note um we can go one more in the stretch and one more this way uh texture looks okay so i think we'll, we'll keep it this way maybe i want to put another one on top of it kind of double it up and put it right above let's see yeah it looks all right i like that um and we'll put the bed right on top of that Put it there and then we'll bring it up. And we might have to go into uh, free free controls here just to kind of get it perfect where we want it. And I think that's good. Yeah, it looks good to me. Uh, looks pretty good. So um, I will select these, probably turn it into a um, into a compound, put it all as one. Um, we did select the tiles here, so let's see if we can deselect this. So I'm hitting control. Um, and it looks like I still got the plane. The plane is, is sandwiched underneath here. So um, what I sometimes do when I get to situations where I'm trying to select a bunch of stuff here is I'll, uh, I'll create a compound, including the plane, and I'll click the plane and I'll detach the plane from the compound. And then now we just have the, the bed by itself. So um, hold on, let's, let's, re, let's recreate the compound here. Sometimes this thing can be a bit glitchy here. All right, and um, we got the, that detached. So let's get back our grid controls and let's place this down here. So um, let's place it down there for now. Yeah, that's fine for now. Um, you know what I think would be a nice touch? I think it'd be nice if we have something in like the corners of the rooms here. Kind of like a column or something like that because i feel it looks too i don't know it looks too square a bit too square for me so i want to kind of put something there um so let, let, yeah, let's do some let's do something like that um uh let's yeah let's do that so let's get uh into static objects here 
Um, let's go into uh, interior. I think there's a category called tower, which deals with like support related things. Yeah, so you can see like the support beams and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and do this, I think. Oh, it's a little large, we, but we could probably make this work. Uh, let's see, we get to the corner here. Uh, yeah, look, I think that's okay. Let me move it into a better spot here. For Okay, yeah, so it looks pretty good. Yeah, I think it looks okay. Let's see how it looks when we duplicate it um, up here. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. I like the way that looks in the corner here. Um, so let's, uh, let's try and select them here and uh, create a compound here with both of them. Uh, control click and control left click there. Control left click there. And it looks like we just got the two here. Uh, so let's create a compound with both of those. Now we can just start doing some copying and pasting. Alright, so we have those placed down. I think that looks actually pretty okay. Uh, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I think that's a good touch to the room. I feel it makes it look a little bit less square, and like, you know, generic. Um, so um, I think we could also put some like support beams going around the top here, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see if that grows on me. Um, uh, I think I want to do something kind of kind of divides away the player's room here with like the rest of the rooms because it's a fairly large room um, So let's see what we can do for something like that. I think they do have like columns or something like that that we can That we can use to kind of separate everything. Let's see You have one here You know what, I think if we go under our tool, yeah, here we go. I think they have some good ones here. Uh, yeah, actually this isn't half bad. This looks pretty okay. Um, let's go ahead and grab this and let's move it over here. Um, I think we want maybe a little bit more room room to play with here. Let's do something like that. And let's, let's go ahead and duplicate it and kind of bring them across to each other here. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. We're gonna have to do something about the height here, but I think this looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. You know what I think would be cool too? Maybe we can have a, a curved ceiling here. I think a curved ceiling would be pretty cool here. So let's actually do that. I think in the same in the same category, they have some art, yeah, some arch ceilings here. So let's place this down and kind of see what we're working with here. Uh, I think this could work. I'll just place that down by accident. Uh, okay, let's see. Now we're going to have to rotate it this way, I think. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's rotate it this way. And now let's move them up. We might have to use freeform controls here. Uh, zoom up a little bit here. Yeah, looks like we'll have to use some. some actually, there looks pretty good there, actually. Uh, let's see. Make sure that we can't see any of the outside. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I think that's lined up okay. All right, so let's uh, let's take this, let's kind of position it, and then we'll start duplicating it here. So let's press it up against this wall right here. And let's duplicate this now. Here, got a good angle on it. We gotta mess back with these controls. All right, I think it looks pretty good. Look at that. So we got a nice like curved inside room here. I'm thinking maybe we put something to kind of like block off this wall here. And you know what? Since we have kind of, you know what? I think I got a good idea here. Let's maybe we could put a bed on the opposite side. Um, is what I'm thinking. So let's put some panels. Let's put some. Let's put some like wooden pallets or something here i think i think i know where there's some wooden pallets we'll put some like wooden pallets here um i think the wooden pallets are entities though so let's go under entities um 
and let's find these pallets. Um, I think it is under, let's see. It's always annoying how to fight. Sometimes you just memorize. Sometimes it's a good idea to just take notes and put where you found certain things there, just cause it'd be better. Or if you pull up another map, um, that all should work. I think it's under special. Let's go Arabic Fort special. Um, and let's look through here. Oh yeah, here we go. So that's the divider. Um, yeah, that'll work. I do looks pretty good actually. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Maybe we can just to kind of add some like variants. Maybe we can flip. Um, we can flip this middle one here, just to make it look a little bit less, you know, symmetrical. Sometimes that's good. Probably symmetry isn't always good in a map. It's sometimes good to just have a little bit of like you know, especially in a game like this, like a horror game. You don't always want just perfect symmetry everywhere. Uh, put it like right there. That looks pretty good. So we get a little bit of variation on the uh, on the wood image there. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and select these. I think we'll do it on the other side as well. So let's turn on, let's turn this on. Let's switch. Let's turn. Let's only grab entities here just so we can select a little easier. Uh, there shouldn't be any entities that we should select here. Um, we will just turn them into a compound as well, just in the future if we want to move it. Um, and let's shift it over over here. I think right there. That looks pretty good. I think you know what would be cool actually. What if we get like a if we get like a bed on this side, and then we have this like kind of fall in on it. I think that'll be a nice little like different touch. Like, like I said, I feel like this looks a little too symmetrical. So I think we should like uh, do something like that. That'd be pretty cool. So it looks like it's collapsed on it. Um, you know, it'll be cool. What if we put like a, uh, if we put like a trail of blood or something like that, and have it like lead to this door. You know, I have a, I have a pretty good idea. You know, we could have like a trail of blood coming from this bed here, going to this door. Um, and I think maybe the main, the main goal of this level will be to, um, will be to get in this door and see what's in there. Uh, we'll have it like locked to we won't lock it now but i think we'll have it like locked and your goal will be to find um to find like a way to get in here whether it be breaking the door or finding a key or something like that um and then maybe we can add like a jump scare when he does find like the key or whatever he needs um this door just blasts open and an enemy comes out or something like that but uh, we got time to think about that um uh let's do you know i think we still got to do this we'll do the blood trail in a moment we gotta just properly patch up this part here. We will just get another another uh, wall and just kind of. All um, yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks alright. We got that hidden up. We could have done something else with that. We could have put a curved ceiling or something here as well. But I think it's pretty good. Nice open area. Good area to play around with. Um, that looks pretty good. We'll save that up right now. All right, and um, I guess let's do the let's let's, let's put some uh, decals all over the place, uh, make things look a little bit nicer here. Um, so if we go to uh, decals, let's maybe do the blood first. I think the blood's a good idea. Um, if we go to decals and we go under textures, decals, and we do um, I think organic, yeah, organic. Yeah, we have the blood splatters here. So let's. Select one of these. See, okay, this is like a pool of blood. Um, I'm not gonna worry too much. So, in case you don't know, didn't know about the the kales, they kind of like warp around any object you're on. So, like if I place them here, it'll like warp around the wall and kind of place it. You gotta be careful. Sometimes it can be a bit wonky the way it places down. So, um, and you but you can move them around if you place them down too. So, I think this pool of blood's okay. Maybe we can like. Yeah, it looks, you know, it looks okay. 
Yeah. That looks pretty good. Uh, it's kind of hard to get in on this spot right here. Uh, let's, let's see. You can also randomize like the angle that it places down the, uh, the blood. It can be pretty useful if you're trying to like make it look a little bit more natural and less like repetitive. Let's try the, okay, I don't like this one. It's like a slash. Um, oh, this one looks okay. Um, It looks pretty good. We got like a trail of blood going down there. I think it looks pretty pretty good. Um, and we'll, we'll see what we decide to do with that later. Um, next, we can add some more details to the wall. Uh, let's put some like, you know, cracked walls or something like that. So let's go here. I think we go under Arabic floor and we do like the cape plaster. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, so we can kind of put these around the level. Uh, we could have it the hang. We could leave random angle randomized here, just so we can kind of like get get a bit more natural. All right, so we got some detail there, um, and I think I. I think that's about most of the things I kind of want to do. At least. I want to leave this space open. I don't want to fill anything up um, here. If you want to get like, we can get like pots and stuff like that added as well. If we go under entities, I think furniture. Yeah, we have like a chair. We can, you know, throw down a chair or something like that. Um, uh, just to make it look a little bit nicer. We'll, uh, undo that. I grab the, I grab the tile here by accident. Rotate that I like a chair, um, ceiling rail. We got some like cabinets. Maybe we can put a cabinet somewhere. Uh, let's maybe put the cabinet in here. I think it makes a little more sense in here. Let's like rotate it and let's push it up against the wall right here. It looks like this cabin looks a little bit too nice for the environment, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it there. I think it's fine. Uh, oven, I think an oven would look kind of cool somewhere here. Maybe like right here. Yeah, like I said, I, I just kind of, everybody has their own way of designing their maps. So, you, you know, just find the way that you feel more comfortable designing your maps and, and uh, design it according to your taste. Um, I'm kind of a like, I see it, I think it'll be cool, and in the in the moment, just kind of throw it down. Um, actually, we, probably this one needs like a lower ceiling, so maybe we won't do this one. Might be a bit of work, work just to adapt it to our, uh, our, uh, our thing we have going in here. Um, we'll go back to entities, let's see what else. Uh, this is like doors. I have debris and holes and stuff. Um, I think we look in some of the other categories. We could find some more cool stuff. Uh, yeah, we got like a table. Let's get a table somewhere here. Uh, we'll get it like right over here. Yeah, I think it looks okay. And uh, maybe we'll just put one more thing down. Uh, I wonder where they have maybe vases or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe on their arsenal. Pots, uh, furniture, ornaments, probably under ornaments, sounds like where it'd be. Um, you know what, that looks okay. I think they have some other kinds of vases, I don't know what the names are right now, so i kind of just put a bundle of these in the corner, and get some more of these here. Yeah, and let's like randomly rotate them just so they don't look too, you know, symmetrical. They look like they were just kind of slapped on all over the place. Then the last one back here. Be a little bit more. Yeah, there it goes. All right, it looks pretty good. All right, um, I think that all looks pretty good. Um, we got some good details. Um, 
Uh, yeah, maybe we could add some like supports up here just to kind of fill up this empty area. But I think for now this is okay. We can we got a kind of a, a decent little map to start working on some stuff. Um, we'll have to do more of these like level editing videos in the future. But um, but I don't want to spend like too much time on just in one episode doing uh, doing more editing. Maybe when we have more reason to add more stuff, we'll uh, we'll go back to this and do some more stuff on this map. Um, so I think I'm going to wrap it up here for now. We got a room here. I think next we'll talk about some lighting, but um, let's go ahead and give it a launch and just kind of have a look at the map. Um, so if you follow the first step, the story for the first episode, we'll, you'll see that we have this here. Actually, um, we will need to place a player spawn area. We didn't place one down yet. Uh, so let's get that down. We'll go areas and we'll do... Uh, should be player spawn area somewhere here. Uh, uh, yeah, player start. Let's just click it down right here. Or, uh, we're gonna have to draw a circle here, and a square here. And normally you elevate these a little bit, uh, just because um, you don't want the player's feet to get stuck in the ground. So we normally elevate it. Um, put it right there. Um, now let's give it a name. Let's just start position one I guess start pause one um, and we do want it to be active and everything all right and uh, it's just gonna be a player start area and let's gonna we're gonna have to change a few things in our um, in our uh, HPC file I think uh, or in our main init config so under our in our mod folder under the config folder in the main init folder we can specify where we want the player to spawn so that was, I believe, start, pause, one. Um, and we want to change the map that we want to start here. Um, we want to change this to, um, what, do we, what do we call this thing again? Um, starting room. So let's change this to starting room. Let's go ahead and save that. All right, let's get that save. It's going to make a launch it with F7. Let me uh, switch your guys' view here. And you put that in frame there. And now we're moving in. All right, we're in our map here. We didn't put no lights, so it's going to be pretty dark here. We'll just kind of have a walk around, make sure everything looks okay. Everything looks all right. You can kind of see the smoke here. In the dark. Probably change the smoke animation. Looks like it's a little bit too much, but it looks okay. Um, objects here. We can interact with them. Uh, got the blood trail. And this should be open. Should open. There's nothing down there, so we fall. We'll just keep falling forever. What's that? We got the table. Yeah, this is all, looks all pretty good. I think the map looks all right. Maybe those could come. Those could be changed with something else. But all right, uh, looks like the map is good to go. I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. Um, we'll talk about lighting in the next episode. Get our maps lit up. Um, and there's a lot more I plan. I want to do with the map. Um, going forward so um, we might every few episodes maybe just do a, a map editing um, episode these tend to be kind of kind of boring kind of slow so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you guys learned a lot um, and thank you guys a lot for the support in my first two videos I've gotten a few comments on those videos a lot of you seem excited to see what comes comes in future videos so um, it's been a lot of fun working on this. Let me know what you guys want to see in future episodes. With the new engine, there's so much more possible in this game than there was in the original Amnesia. Um, so I really want to know what you guys want to see in future episodes. Let me know and um, I'll put it on the list uh, to work on. And uh, again, we'll talk about lighting in the next episode. So look forward to that. Have a good day, everyone.